Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Zoom In. So today, let us see how we can add the exception logs um, in the CPI iFlows. Okay. So now our requirement is that if we get any logical errors or any syntactical errors in our iFlow, that exception log will need to be get to trigger, and that will create an attachment where we can uh, where that attachment includes the header details and the error details and etc etc things so let us see how we can do all of those so this is the iflow uh, which we are working on presently that is applied in os post patch let us add the exception logger in this only okay so now let uh, go to the search and add for exception sub process search for exception sub process and click on add So let's adjust that. So yeah. So in this, you can see the error start and the end one. So here, um, need we need to add, we are going to add a groovy script now. Plus the groovy script. So in the Groovy script, let's write the code. Let's write the code for creating an attachment use uh, that includes all these details. So this is the inbuilt Groovy script. We can see we will get uh, all over. But let's replace this Groovy script with our customized one for getting an attachment. So I'm just deleting it. And I'm going to copy the Groovy script and I'm going to paste it over here. So this is a Groovy script that uh, we are, we got added. You can see the functions over there. And in the last message log, add attachment a string. You'll get the headers details and the error one and the body over there. Okay. So this is how uh, you can add the Groovy script. And for that, we need to uh, enable few things over there. And let's see where and how we can enable that. So this is Groovy script, which you need to in, uh, add. And I'm going to click on OK. And I'm just saving it first. Now just go to the content modifier and over here go to that extends property and click on add. So I'm going to give the name as enable log as we given in our Groovy script enable log log and in the source step I'm going to give it as expression and in the source value I'm going to give it as true T R U. And this need to be in capital letters. So I'm just adding the flower brackets, two flower brackets in front of it. And at the last, and click on enter. And here, just give the true. So this is one more way you can mention. And the data type you need to mention that is java.lang.string. And yeah java dot lang dot string so yeah these are the things you need to do and okay now i'm going to save it and i'm going to deploy it yes So it got deployed and I'm just uh, going to do a minor modify modification that is I'm going to change the end message in the exceptions of process. I'm going to change this end message with the uh, error end for getting the error message because this end message will uh, help us to connect uh, with more adapters or with the receiver or else anything but this will give us error. So. I'm just going to save it again and I'm going to deploy it. Yes, okay. 
now let's yes it got deployed let's go to the postman so now i'm going to remove the physical ear over here uh, as it is a mandatory field and i'm going to send it now so you can see the error over here that is internal server error and the 500 is status code so now just go to our uh, iflow and just uh, keep a debugging mode keep it in so this is how we'll get the error and the growth script has triggered and just go to a trace click on t you'll get an attachment over here the attachment will get to creator so just go to a, a mod just go to over page overview and over here you can see the all artifacts so let's refresh the page again and then over in the uh, monitor message processing you can see all artifact failed messages too just click on that failed messages and just select your uh, iflow and when you get to scroll down you'll get an attachment so in the attachment tabs this got created just open it so when you get to open you can see the details over here in the properties under the properties you got the properties header properties and in the headers you got the headers what you have mentioned and yes in the body uh, you'll get whatever the body that you have given so by analyzing it uh, you can easily trace out what the error we got and just go to the lab log tab and over here you can see the error in the red color so and over there you can see the message also the target exist requires value for this element but the target field mapping does not produce so this is how you can uh, see the error message and uh, and the respective details and you can find the error easily so this is uh, how you can add the exceptions in the iflow and this is a customized one that we are working on presently that we are using it so let's see more uh, more iflows in the upcoming videos and until then tata take a bye thank you